Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video is a DIY video and I'm really excited about it because I haven't done one in a while and this one was really fun. It was an envelope clutch that I made and it's featured in my Get Ready With Me video so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And it was rather inexpensive to make. I paid about $68 at Joann's Craft Store which is like a steal when you think about it because you pay like $25 for a clutch. It took me about 20 minutes to make and I did most of it by hand so I didn't really need a sewing machine. So it was kind of easy and fun and I enjoy making them and I hope that you enjoy watching this video. See how I did this and how simple it was for me then keep watching. So these are just the things that you'll need. You'll also need an iron and snaps which you can buy at the craft store. So this is my makeshift pattern. Um, I cut it, I outlined another bag that I had and just cut that shape. I'm also going to use this as a, like a binding layer to give the bag some thickness. So I traced over the fabric and cut it, outlined that and cut it out. So I folded it just to show you guys the shape of what my purse will look like, or my clutch when I'm done. Now the next la layer is going to be the uh, stabilizer. And I just actually, I pinned the, the layer of the cloth to the manila folder just to hold it down as I'm outlining again. So you just want to repeat the same process as you did with the fabric and outline on the stabilizer, cut it and repin it to hold everything securely. The last layer is the fleece which adds some softness to the bag and also some cushion to create more thickness. Just want to outline that as well and cut. Now you only need to iron the stabilizer, which gets ironed on directly to the fabric. So I switched the order of what was being layered so that that could be where the fabric was. So after I sewed all the four layers together, I used binder clips to kind of hold the clutch in place and kind of start to create the shape that I wanted for it. Once that was kind of laid down well, I sewed the sides together and I kind of did, you can do whatever stitch you want. I did a box stitch, which was a little difficult, but it just looked nicer on the outsides of the bag than a traditional stitch would. So this is what the stitch looks like once it's done and like I said, it's a box stitch and gets that effect on the outsides. Um, I also repeated that stitch on the inside flap of the bag to kind of hold that piece down so it wasn't sloppy. So the last and final step of the project is adding the snaps and you want to make sure you get sew on snaps. Uh, the glue ones probably would work but I think that these are more secure and you don't have to worry about them falling off. Now you want to make sure that the snaps are lined up properly so that when you sew in one and you go to snap it on the bottom, it's secure. Once you do that, just sew it on. Um, nothing fancy. Just make sure that it's tight enough and it's secure so it doesn't fall. Now the bottom snap is a little bit trickier so I would make sure you pin it down or secure it with something before you start sewing. Instead of going just in and out like you did on the top, you kind of want to go on an angle because if you go through the, the manila folder layer, it's going to get a little bit harder to sew. So I kind of just went diagonally or across whichever area I could get into just to hold and make sure that the snap was secure. So this is the final look guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching my DIY tutorial on my clutch. And if you make one, let me know so I can see how it comes out. 